Hello beautiful people, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today's video is going to be my go-to makeup look. So today we're going to go from blank faced to my regular makeup that I wear if I just have to run some errands and I'm not trying to think about what I do to my face. This is the makeup that I wear. I know a lot of people say like they do really natural makeup. Most of the time I'm either makeupless like this or full face. Like, there's no in between for me usually, like maybe once in a while. But for the most part, this is how I look or I look completely done like normal. So I'm going to show you my go-to makeup today. And without any further ado, let's jump to the videos and I'm going to start the video with eyebrows on. Hi guys, let's go ahead and get started with this look. So I'm going to go ahead and prime first off. This is the first A Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Primer. Um, this is my favorite primer, and I feel like my skin's kind of rough today. So, I mean, it looks, my skin looks pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie, but it just feels not the best. So I'm gonna prime before we do anything else, and let it settle into my skin for a minute, because the First Day Beauty has really good ingredients. Okay, so now my skin actually looks pretty bright, which is the primer on. I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't hate how my skin looks today. I am going to do a lip plumper. So this is Juva Lips. Juva Lips is the sponsor of today's video, and I want to thank them for that. I really appreciate it. I've also used this product before. I probably started using it about two years ago. I used it a couple times for, like, plumping my lips because everyone, like, okay, so a couple years back, everyone was doing, like, the Kylie Lip Challenge, and they would put, like, shot glasses and things in their lips to make them plump, but it would cause bruising and a lot of damage. Well, we have Juva Lips now, and it is better than that because it actually plumps your lips and it's not damaging to them. It doesn't leave any bruising or anything. It just gives you, like, a nice, natural, like, oomph to your lips. So today I'm going to be using this, and we'll show you the difference. This is my lips before. I don't have terrible lips, I'm not going to lie, but I totally would get injections, but I'm also scared of, like, the complications of, like, getting lip fillers and stuff because some people have really bad reactions to that. So I feel like this is a lot safer and less permanent, so I'm going to just do this. You can do it in 60-second increments. Some people do, like, 60 seconds or 2 minutes. I suggest just starting off with 1 minute, seeing how you like it, and then building up a tolerance to do, like, a couple more sessions. The more you use it, the better effects you'll get, so I'm going to go ahead and do 1 minute. Okay, so it's been a minute. You can see like the ring of where it saws the suction around my lips. It just kind of sucks your lips and plumps them that way, but it doesn't hurt or anything. There's no discomfort. It's not hurtful. It doesn't hurt, which I'm very sensitive, so I will tell you if it did, but it just kind of plumps them up. And now my lips look more plump, and they're going to stay like this for several hours. So let's go ahead and get started with the rest of the face now. Of course, I will leave this product linked down below the top of the description box for you if you want to check it out. So for foundation today, what I do most days is just something simple. So because I'm not doing anything special, I'm just going to run some errands and try to find a cute outfit. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. And you can see the redness from my lips, like around the lips. It's already gone. I'm going to be concealing with the Tarte Shape Tape and then setting it with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I feel like I don't have to talk about these two things that much because I talk about them all the time. And some people are like... I know it must be expensive to try new products on a small channel, but I'm tired of talking about the same things. I'm like, I only have so many things. I talk about them in different contexts, you know? Next for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Honey Amber Pressed Powder on a little powder brush. Just dusting it everywhere. I just avoid the under eye area because, you know, I'm already covering up darkness there. I'm not trying to add anything else dark there but I must say after I set my face with that cover effects powder like my eyes ugh, they don't always look the best they look a little more yellow than like a rose setting powder do but the rest of my skin looks so even when I use this powder I love it so much then this bronzer on top is quite cute as well now for contour <laughs> I wonder what we're gonna use today Bridget mm, for your go-to makeup I wonder what contour palette you use I'm going to use my Sigma F83 brush, as always, into the Cover FX Perfect Face Palette. Some people said they don't like this. If you don't like this, try mixing the contour shade into the finishing powder. I just dip into both back and forth, and it's a perfect combination. Also, I'm hitting pan on this shade, but I don't know how I'm not hitting pan on that shade yet, because I use them both. My blush changes from day to day, but today I'm going to be using Drake by Lottie London, which I'm enjoying a lot lately. You can get these at Riley Rose, you can get them at Target. Super cute brand, I really like their aesthetic, I think it's adorable. And this one's kind of like a peachier tone, so I'm kind of living for it lately, especially with this outfit. 
gonna add a little bit under the chin some people don't do that I feel like if you just put blush on the apples of your cheeks and don't at least like put it underneath your chin a little bit it just looks like you have blush right here I feel like it should be like your warmth coming from within your face so I don't know I don't know I feel like it looks better personal opinion and then sometimes I'll add a little bit on the forehead as well next for highlight I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight first I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star ice cold highlight with my pinky for my inner corner for my all over face highlight I am taking Ofra's pillow talk with the fo3 brush from Sigma and I'm just living my best life with this shade because honestly it's just so effortless like I barely touched into the pan every time I do it I'm like feeling it I'm like oh you are a beautiful treasure to society pillow talk beautiful <laughs> and Cupid's bow a little bit of the nose not too much and then a tiny bit on the end of the chin I don't do top of my chin where I have this like little you know the crease right there sorry about the squeakiness do it towards the bottom of the chin oh I live my best life with this pink one <laughs> Now I'm just taking whatever concealer is left over on my sponge and rubbing it over my lid so it stops all that creasing we have going on. I'm now taking a Sigma E38 brush, which is my go-to shade. And I'm going to take this Through My Eyes palette from ColourPop. This is in a wink. I'm going to take this shade and buff it over the crease. I usually start out with a light cream shade, kind of similar to this one, but this one has like a little bit peachier tone. And I feel like it matches what I'm wearing. I like these kind of shades to just buff over the crease and start an eye look. So it like creates a base. So your other shades don't get kind of chalky. If I'm not doing colorful looks. Because you want to put colorful looks right on top of that primer. I like to set it first. So I could just like make all my nudes look really effortless. The next thing I'll take is Nostalgia. Which is this kind of muted shade. And mixed in with a little bit of sandalwood. And I'm going to buff that over the crease as well. Next, I'm going back into the In A Wink shade we started out with and going right over the edges of what we just did. And now I'm just going to take my finger into, I don't know how to say this word, Lucidio, Lucidio, which is a champagne-y like normal color, which is my go-to to put on a lid. And I just put it on with my finger. And once I have this on with my finger, which takes no time. I go back into our two crease colors and I blend it with a shimmer. Now for shading on the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Sandalwood by itself because it is very cool tone on a Sigma E55 brush and I'm just going to dust it under the lower lash line. Now for the waterline, I'm taking Fake Awake by Tarte which is a nude and I love a nude eyeliner in the waterline. Now I'm going to pop on some mascara lashes and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I put on my lashes and I don't know what it is. I literally washed my hair last night and it's already acting like it's disgusting and it won't cooperate with me. I don't know what's going on my hair. I apologize. But now it's just time for a lipstick. I'm going to use the Morphe liquid lipstick. This is the shade Vanity. I'm not a huge Morphe person. Like, I'm not one of those people who's like, Morphe everything is amazing. But like, I really like their setting spray and this liquid lipstick. And their, their eyeshadow formula is better than it was. So I feel like maybe they're listening to critiques. I don't know. But a lot of their palettes are still like a million of the same color. I really just like how muted this is. I love a muty pink tone. These liquid lipsticks smell so good. However, I do want to point out, if you were having like a 12-hour shift at work or something, I wouldn't suggest wearing this because it does start to crumble in the inner lips. It gets pretty dry after a few hours, so I wouldn't wear it for like 12 hours or anything. But for like 6 and less, I think you're pretty decent with this liquid lipstick. And it smells like icing. But anyways, that is it. This is my go-to makeup, you guys. Maybe I'll bronze my skin a little bit more if I didn't have like something on my shoulders because like... This looks really pale and then my arms are really dark. So I don't know what I'm doing about that still. Figuring it out as I go along. Someone's going to point out in the comments though. <laughs> but anyways, this is my go-to makeup. It's very simple. Um, I don't know. I feel like I wish my go-to makeup was a little bit edgier. Because I want to be a little edgier. Because I am on the inside and my music taste is. But like on the outside, I'm just not. <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you to Jubilips for sponsoring today's video. I will leave all the products that I use in today's video. Link down below. 
take a shot every time I say in today's video. I will see you guys in the next one if you are not subscribed already. I'd love to have you here, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a great day.